This is Twit. Let's uh, roll back over to Blue Origin. So you, yeah. you wrote about Blue Origin's big push. What's that about? I, yeah, well, uh, our, this is this is also from our our Technica. I think our story is coming out on space.com later today. Um, but but <laughs> we are, you are right. We were kind of focused on uh, private space, space capsules falling out of the space well, and, yeah. and, and, and landing on the moon this week. Um, but, um, but no, yeah, this is interesting because after years of development, um, we, we actually first saw this through orbital cameras last week when uh, some eagle eyed uh, satellite you know, image operators saw in their data that that the, they have they had taken pictures of SpaceX's New Glenn prototype on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Uh-huh. They had teased this on Twitter or pardon me on X um, earlier in the month, where they they showed that the article, the test article, had left their hangar there. Blue Origin, if for people who have never been down to the Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station area, has this giant. Uh, white and blue factory that they've built Huge. for the New Glenn. It's it's, it's yeah. apps, and they have like their own mini VAB there as well for vertical integration, and um and it's just been there <coughs> where they've been building uh, these these there's rocket prototypes, the the biggest fairing ever for a rocket, uh, I guess before Starship, and um and we haven't seen them do any pad tests. They do have a pad. Uh, over at the Space Force Station, uh, that they that for they were trying to get Pad 39A, which SpaceX ended up winning the lease from that. It was a whole big thing way back when. Uh, but they rolled they rolled the test vehicle out to the little staging hangar at the pad, and then we didn't hear anything. So last week we saw these orbital photos. Uh, some other photographers were able to use zoom cameras to get really close to see it on the pad. This week, SpaceX actually released the, the images themselves that show you the uh, first stage test article, not the full article, on the pad uh, for fit tests and, and whatnot, you know, all lit up in all its glory. They were supposed to have a, a demonstration flight of this New Glenn rocket this year. So this is encouraging to see that they're on the way to it. Uh, I would like to know how close they are to that, that first flight. But one of the big hurdles, as we've discussed before, uh, in January was the BE-4 rocket engine. And we saw that perform to stunning success with the Vulcan launch uh, because those engines are also used on United Launch Alliance's uh, rocket there too. Yeah, and those are the ones he's willing to give away or sell. So you got to figure the ones exactly. he's put on his rocket. Uh, let me are just the good uh, ones. add something for you here. The diameter, so typical diameter of a rocket fairing, uh, I think this includes Falcon 9, is about 15 feet, right? Yes. Yeah, New Glenn okay. is 23 feet and Starship, as we all know, is 30. But the New Glenn fairing, like most rocket fairings, splits and goes away. So it completely opens up and releases whatever payload it's got. Starship is going to have to figure out something else, either cargo doors or whatever. So that that's going to be a little bit of a consideration, too. So you want to yeah. be able to have something bigger. But if will you be able to get it out completely or do you have to have something narrower because the doors don't quite span you know, half the, the, the circumference of starship. So, you know, we don't know. Or, or will you do a, a hippo uh, approach like rocket lab is doing with their new neutron rocket, which mm. where the fairing is built into the second stage and opens up like a clamshell, uh, but is still attached and then lets out the, 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 right. the payload and then closes again for reentry. That, that could be pretty cool. Our, our Seneca though, they, they have a, a great photo from blue origin with, um, with the, the new CEO, Dave Limp and Jeff Bezos, they're kind of marveling at, uh, at the, the rocket on the pad with its, its liver, its livery there. It looks very nice. And it's like, actually, no, it, it does have the, the upper stage in this picture. The one that I'd seen was still the first stage. So, uh, so that's pretty nice that they have like the full, the fully stacked rocket there. Um, which yeah, we didn't need see. to get engines of gas in it. <laughs> that's right. And fuel and you have to build now. They want to land this rocket very similar to what SpaceX does, which is they landed on uh, offshore on a barge. Uh, in Blue Origin's case, that is it's a not big rocket. To land it, vertically I know, on a barge. right? Yeah. Um, now, now, Blue Origin uh, wants to land these first stages on a moving barge. That was their plan. The barge mm-hmm. will be moving, and then the rocket will also be be doing it. It's unclear if that plan has changed uh, uh, very much. Then there was a big um, kerfuffle between Blue Origin and SpaceX too, because SpaceX had that plan and did it first uh, uh, as well. Uh, but the concept has been around since before SpaceX. And so I think that's what settled that argument way back when. Um, but this will be interesting because I think they want to reuse both stages, right? Is that right, Rod? 
Uh, does that ring a bell? I think so, but I haven't. Yeah. You know, it. it I, I get that mixed up with the uh, the recovery efforts for the Vulcan, which seem to change every two weeks. Yeah, so. that's that's going to be way down the line. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, but I, yeah, just, I mean, would you want to be the guy flying the helicopter that's supposed to grab the engines as they're hurtling back? <laughs> yeah, I know they're on a parachute, but still, it's like, oh, we're a little lost. There. Oops. Okay. Well, I mean, like they 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 brought they brought that stuff back in like the the sixties, right? With the with yeah, but the those were like Corona film capsules that were the size of you know a suitcase. We're talking about something. Well, we're talking about basically an engine pod from the lower stage. That's huge and very well, massive. Rocket Lab caught caught a rocket. Did they not? Didn't they catch the? They snagged a a first stage from their booster, so it can be done. Something yeah. larger, larger than that. So we're talking about a, a pod, an engine if pod. If you say so. so. Well, um, I, don't know. I don't know. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there.